De ganar el próximo domingo conseguirías tu cuarto título mundial y dejarías la marca de Ayrton Senna. ¿Qué, ¿Qué sientes de poder superar a uno de los ídolos de mucha gente y de tu ídolo, el brasileño? As so many people in the world have, um, I think if he had continued, he would have continued on to great, great, greater things, more world championships. And um, so I don't see if I surpass him, uh, you know, when I surpass him in wins and pole positions and uh, championships, I just, I think I just have to count myself lucky to be in in an era of, of the, the danger is lower, um, the lifespan of a racing driver is much longer. So. I don't see myself as better. I just, uh, I'm proud to be amongst, you know, and when people mention Formula One World Champion, to me mentioned in the same sentence as my young, you know, uh, my racing, you know, my racing hero is a very, very cool thing. Thank you. Sergio is a good friend um, and, uh, and a fantastic driver. And, um, someone that, I, I wouldn't say that I particularly spend a lot of time with too many of the drivers. But Sergio is someone that I, that I that I do. I think so. I think he's done a great job. Um, you know, he had a difficult time at um, McLaren. Um, and then done, I think he's done an exceptional job um, at Force India, a team that has um, a much smaller budget than, than other teams, but they've had great success, really. And he's constantly scoring good points. So. For us drivers, consistency is really important. So constantly being in the points, race on race on race, having to prove your ability. Because you're only as good as your last race in Formula One. That's how it's all in motor racing. So he has the task of every single time having to deliver in a not so, uh, not, not the best car. So, um, but he definitely has a lot of, uh, he definitely has the potential to, to drive for a team like Ferrari. You'll be, you'll be actually a very, very good um, teammate to have for someone like Sebastian. You know, it'll be a great opportunity for him to grow, but also to show his ability in a better car. I was just thinking about it as I was walking in here. It is true that I, I only need to finish fifth, but I thought, I think to myself, how would I feel if I was to finish fifth and win the World Championship? It would feel great. Um, I won the World Championship in 2007, uh, 2008, and I finished fifth. It was the best that I could do in the conditions. But when I walked past the podium, I saw the driver that I was competing against, and he's up there celebrating, but I was celebrating the bigger picture. But I, wanted, I want to be on top of the podium. You want to be up there from, from, you know, as a racing driver, you constantly want to show your performance and your strength. And you never want that to waver. So that's my, that's my goal this weekend. It's going to be difficult, I think, with, I think, a lot closer between Red Bull and Ferrari and us, so that I love that. And so I'm hoping that um, if I'm able to drive like I did in the last race last week, I think it could be a good weekend. Honestly, I, I embarked in this season, I lost the World Championship last year, and I, I devoted myself to, to improve on every area and make sure that I leave no stone unturned and I need that I, and I win this World Championship through just hard work, great communication with the team, Consistency, no mistakes. If you look at my season, and I'm something proud of, I've not made um, many, many mistakes. You know, that's that's something I take great pride in. So, yeah, I came into the half, half halfway through the season. I was like, I've got it's going to go right down to the last race. I couldn't have I couldn't have told you that I was going to win every single race, even though that's my plan. I think we won one five out of six, something like that. Four out of five, five out of five out of six in the last in the second half. And we just happen to be here in Mexico where the there's a good chance that we can win it this weekend. So but honestly I don't mind if it's this weekend, next weekend, the weekend after. As long as it's as long as I win. That's 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 what I'm asking. I don't know. There's a lot of, there's a few there's a few people there's quite a few people coming here this weekend. Um, I don't have to confirm this, but there are a few people at UNC Saturday. There'll be a few people that turn up. Um, a couple of Mexican special guests. <laughs>
for sure. Um, but it's been really cool having Mo Farah. You know, it's amazing to, to grow up watching these amazing athletes achieving such great things in, in their different genre. And to then succeed in your in your space and then receive respect and appreciation from them as they as you respect them. It's a very, very kind of proud moment. So when you see someone like Samoa Farah, who you know has such an incredible, illustrious career, and the same for Usain, um, to then, then for them to cross over into my world and show appreciation and love, that means a lot to me. You know, because I, I love all kinds of sports, and I get to watch as much as I can when I'm traveling. And you take inspiration from these different athletes who are constantly um, raising the bar in their, in their game. You know, we have to, it's, it's, uh, last year, um, Serena, Serena Williams came here, which was pretty, pretty awesome. I think, well, this year the, um, the cars are you know, generally three seconds, we're three seconds faster than we were before. And the car is continuously improving, so um, this week, already last year, I hear you're breathing more, there's less air, you know, it's thinner up here compared to, but I, my winter training is done at high altitudes. I, I live at this height. Um, it's, it's about 8,000, it's, 8, it's 2,000 meters here, I think. So, something like that, yeah, so, um, that's where I do my training, in high altitude. But then, I haven't been there for a long time, so when you come here and you drive the car, it's a lot different to Austin, Texas where there's lots of air over here, you, you will hear me on the radio for sure this weekend, breathing a lot more. So physically you feel it more, and um, naturally in having less oxygen, it's gonna affect your mind and your reactions and, and how fast your, your brain functions. So that's gonna be a real challenge this weekend. Um, it's also often hot, but it's quite cool here at the moment, so that's a, that's, that's a plus. Because when it's hot and you can lose up to four kilos in the race. Um, it's not particularly exciting that way, but it definitely is a real challenge. And in terms of the car, as I said, we have the biggest, we, this weekend we put the biggest wings on the car to gain as much downforce as possible, but we hit crazy speeds on the straights because we have so, so little drag. So, so the car slides around a lot more, but this year we have bigger tires, so I think uh, I think we are gonna ease, we will still continuously be um, we do a couple seconds faster than we were last year, but I think the biggest effect is going to be on us drivers physically. Uh, ver a, ver, bueno, regresar a McLaren ya sea al final de, bueno, ya casi al final de tu, de tu carrera como piloto, ¿te gustaría volver a McLaren? Would you ever like to go back to McLaren and maybe end of your career? Um, I don't know. I think McLaren always has a special place in my heart. I raced to McLaren um, so many years, uh, six years and six, six, seven years. And um, that's, that was always my home, you know, that's where I, they signed me when I was 13. They helped, you know, Ron Dennis really changed my life and gave me the opportunity to be where I am today. You know, um, and, which I can, you know, say I, I, I'm always forever grateful. And I had an amazing time, and I, I learned so much in that time. And it's been great to move from McLaren and experience a different team, a different environment. For a racing driver, you always want to move forward. So, and when you stop, when you retire, you want to finish on the top. So, um, who knows where McLaren's going to be in the next coming years. But, um, so it's, uh, you can never say never, but at the moment, I think it's likely that I'm going to be with Mercedes till the end, and um, and then when I stop racing, I will continue being with Mercedes until I'm old. <laughs> you know, um, there's something special about being with Mercedes. They, um, all the other teams. Like if you're if you're at McLaren or you're Ferrari, you're generally just another driver on their on their list of great drivers. When you're with Mercedes, they you're part of a family. And if you look at Sustaining Moss, you've got um, uh, I mean, all the other great uh, drivers who drove from Mercedes, even you, Michael Schumacher, you're part of their legacy and their history forever, and they celebrate that for, until, until your time comes to an end, basically. So I like that, and I appreciate that, and I, 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 it's difficult to imagine myself anywhere else.